If you're interested in training for hypertrophy, I suggest you taking a look at this study by Schoenfeld and others. It looked at four different lifting strategies and their effect on hypertrophy. One was high load or 80% of your one rep max to failure or not to failure. And lighter load lifting, 30% of your one rep max to failure and not to failure. But I'm not going to go into all the details of the study. I'm just briefly going to talk about it. It is in the link in the description if you want to see it. But what the results of the study showed was that lighter load lifting, so 30% of your one rep max taken all the way to failure, provided the greatest gains in muscle cross-sectional area or muscle size. And the difference in the study of going to failure and not to failure was about 15 reps. The average sets taken to failure was about 34 reps, and the average reps taken not to failure was about 19 reps. So what I think the practical takeaways of this study are is that when you're using lighter loads, maybe you're just doing bicep curls at the end of a workout, you probably should be doing more than just getting a pump. And the difference between just getting a pump and actually getting close to failure or actually getting to failure is pretty big. 34 reps compared to 19 reps is a lot of reps. And if you want those pump sets at the end of session to really count, it is going to take a high amount of effort, but you probably can squeeze out a lot more reps than you think you can when you're ready to cut it off. And there's obviously some limitations of the study. The subjects were all untrained men and the exercise and the protocols was knee extension. So go ahead and read it if you want to. But the two main takeaways are if you're using lighter loads, you should probably actually go to failure or at least really close to failure. And if you're using heavier loads, like 80% of your one rep max, there's no added benefit in terms of hypertrophy by going to failure. So go ahead heavy for the motor unit recruitment without going to failure and go to failure with the lighter loads for both motor unit recruitment and peripheral fatigue.